Hey Tappers, we're continuing on with our AccuPoint series on the points that we use in EFT. If you missed the beginning of it, the first video is linked right here. Before I dive into the next point, there's two things I want to give you. One is a correction. I'm in connection with Deborah through this whole time and she's given me feedback on the videos as we go. And even though I looked up and listened to the name of the Meridian, I pronounced it wrong. It's not Do, it's do. This is why it's important to be connected to an expert in the field if you are talking about something. The second thing I want to share is something that Deborah writes in her book. You've heard a lot of benefits from these points that may seem a little fantastical, uh, and she addresses that in her book as well. I'm just going to read the words that Deborah says because she puts it best. This is on page eight under unbelievable acupuncture. You might find it hard to believe that the points do what they are listed as doing. You are not alone. It is always surprising, and even after 20 years of studying acupuncture, I continue to learn new points and new ways to use the points I have known about for 20 years. Chinese medicine is a very rich medicine. After over 2,000 years of use, it continues to grow. Although modern research has yet to be able to explain how acupuncture works, it has been shown to work as the primary form of medicine in China for thousands of years. It is able to heal things that modern medicine cannot because it helps the body to heal itself. Acupuncture restores healthy function to the body. It helps your body to heal itself. If you have ever been healthy, your body knows how to heal itself. It just needs a stimulus to encourage it to heal. Again, those are Deborah's words in her book. Now we know from using these points in EFT, how it's possible to utilize the body, communicate with different parts, and receive healing in a different form. This is the same concept. I hope that helps you feel a little confidence and all of these fantastic ways of we're learning of another option to heal our bodies. Now this next point, we've already talked about this meridian. It's the same one that the top of the head point is on, which is the do meridian or governing vessel. Now this point is near the end. I've already shown a picture of the whole meridian, but I'll show you specifically for this point. The functions associated with this point are acute, lower back pain, calms the mind, clears the nose, treats the inability to distinguish smells, coma, lockjaw, muscle spasms, nosebleeds, regulates the spine, resuscitation point, revives consciousness. Do 26 can be used to treat someone after a stroke or seizure. It strengthens the back to relieve back pain. It can be used to open the sinuses to relieve nasal blockage and runny nose. The point is the most important point to restore consciousness after fainting or stroke. It can help prevent fainting. If you use acupressure, press strongly in an upward direction. Using your fingernail or the tip of your thumb will work best. Let's do another point. Even though this point is really close to this one, it's actually a whole different meridian. This is on a meridian called conception vessel. It starts down on the bottom of the pelvis, not far from where governing vessel starts, but this comes up the front of the body, ending at the point that we use. The functions and common usage are pretty short this time. Relaxes the tendons in the face. Can be used to treat deviation of the mouth and eye, lock jaw, facial paralysis, and neck pain. I have to find myself doing this. Hmm. I hope you've enjoyed the information that these two points can give you, plus a little bit of general information on how to use the AccuPoints outside of EFT. We only have two left. I'll see you soon.